Picture this. It's a lazy Saturday afternoon. The sun's gentle rays slipping through the curtains as you sit cross-legged on the worn-out carpet of your childhood living room. The year is 1965, and you're tuned into that flickering black and white television set, the one with the rabbit ears, still adorned with aluminum foil to enhance the signal. As the screen crackles to life, a theme tune, catchy as a summer melody, starts to play. And there it is, your very first encounter with F Troop. Do you remember that feeling? The excitement, the innocent laughter, and the sheer joy of watching Captain Parmenter's misadventures at Fort Courage. Perhaps you recall the uproarious antics of Sergeant O'Rourke and Corporal Agard, their slapstick humor transcending time and age. Or maybe it's Wrangler Jane, that strong, independent woman who could outride and outshoot any cowboy in town, who left an indelible mark on your young heart. In those precious moments, you were transported to the whimsical world of the Wild West, where anything was possible, and hilarity was the currency of the day. F Troop became more than just a TV show, it was a gateway to laughter, a reminder of simpler times, and a testament to the timeless appeal of classic comedy. But did you know that behind the curtain of slapstick humor and witty one-liners, F Troop harbored some intriguing secrets? Let's peel back the layers and uncover the lesser-known facets of this beloved show that have lingered in the annals of television history, waiting to be rediscovered. So, saddle up, my friends, as we journey back to the frontier with F Troop, where history and hilarity collide in the most unexpected ways. Get ready for a ride through time, exploring the random facts and hidden gems that make this iconic series as fascinating today as it was in 1965. It's time to dust off those memories and embark on a new adventure through the Wild West. F Troop Style. F Troop Style. F Troop Style. In 1965, the television series F Troop burst onto the small screen, bringing laughter and zany antics to living rooms across America. While the show only ran for two seasons, comprising a total of 65 episodes, its impact was undeniable. Fans were drawn to the hilarious misadventures of the characters, but there was one memorable aspect of the show that left viewers in awe. Meet Harvey Perry, the man behind Old Charlie, the town drunk of the series. Week after week, viewers witnessed Old Charlie being thrown through the saloon doors, bouncing off a support post, falling face forward over the hitching rail, spinning around, and landing on his face or back. It was a remarkable physical feat that many believed required a young stuntman and elaborate old man makeup. However, the truth was even more astonishing. Harvey Perry, the actor portraying old Charlie, was 65 years old at the time. What's more, he had been a stuntman for nearly 45 years, demonstrating his remarkable agility and resilience. Perry's ability to execute these acrobatic stunts with such finesse left audiences in disbelief, challenging the conventional expectations of stunt performers. While F Troop only graced television screens for a brief period, it left an indelible mark on its viewers. The cancellation of the show after just two seasons left fans disappointed, as they had grown attached to the outrageous and endearing characters. Nevertheless, the legacy of F Troop endures, not only for its comedic brilliance, but also for the remarkable stunt work of Harvey Perry, who defied age and expectations to create unforgettable moments on screen. In the world of television, where fleeting moments can leave lasting memories, F Troop and the incredible Harvey Perry remain emblematic of the magic of entertainment, where the improbable becomes a reality and laughter knows no age. <laughs> Rumors of on-set feud in 1965 TV series F Troop dispelled in the annals of classic television. F Troop stands out as a beloved 1965 sitcom, famed for its comedic take on the Old West. Yet, one persistent rumor has hovered over the show's history for years, a feud between its stars, Ken Berry and Forrest Tucker, who portrayed Captain Wilton Parmenter, and Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke, respectively. However, a closer examination reveals that this feud may have been more fiction than fact. The rumor mill churned with tales of Berry and Tucker's alleged animosity fueled by their differing personalities and acting styles. Ken Berry, known for his amiable charm, represented a fresh-faced optimism, while Forrest Tucker exuded a rugged, no-nonsense demeanor. This dichotomy naturally sparked gossip about behind-the-scenes tensions. Larry Storch, who played Corporal Randolph Agarn in the series, added fuel to the fire with a quip in a 1975 interview, saying, Forrest Tucker is the strongest guy I know. He could pick himself up and throw himself across the room. 
This humorous statement was misconstrued by some as a veiled reference to tension on set. However, further investigation reveals a more harmonious reality. Interviews with cast and crew members paint a different picture. While Barry and Tucker may have had contrasting styles, they were professionals who collaborated effectively. The camaraderie among the cast was genuine, and they often shared laughs off camera. Moreover, it's worth noting that Ken Barry and Forrest Tucker continued to work together after F Troop concluded in 1967. They reunited for the 1970s series The Double Life of Henry Fife and remained on good terms until Tucker's passing in 1986. In the world of entertainment, rumors and anecdotes often take on a life of their own. While the legend of a feud between Ken Berry and Forrest Tucker persists, the evidence suggests a different truth, that F Troop was a production built on teamwork and camaraderie, despite the surface contrasts between its two leading men. So, as fans of the show revisit the hilarity of Fort Courage and its colorful inhabitants, they can rest assured that the real story behind F Troop is one of friendship and collaboration, rather than on set discord. In the world of 1960s television, few shows could match the zany antics of F Troop, the uproarious western sitcom that captured the hearts of viewers across America. While the series is remembered for its slapstick humor and unforgettable characters, one behind-the-scenes tidbit adds an intriguing layer to the show's history. Frank DeCova, who portrayed the enigmatic Chief Wild Eagle, brought an unexpected twist to his character's persona. Despite his Native American role, Decova was actually of Italian descent. In a testament to his commitment to the role, he would often rehearse and memorize lines in Italian before stepping in front of the camera. This dedication to authenticity added a unique dimension to Chief Wild Eagle's character, making it all the more memorable. Decova's portrayal, complete with his Italian language preparation, contributed to the show's distinctive charm. F Troop was a series known for its willingness to push the boundaries of humor, and Decova's commitment to his character was just one of the many ingredients that made it a fan favorite. While F Troop may have been a comedy, it also had its share of surprises behind the scenes. Melody Patterson, who played Wrangler Jane, was only 16 years old when she auditioned for the show. Her youthful appearance led her to believe she had little chance of landing the role. However, to her astonishment, she secured the part. She and her mother, however, wisely decided to keep her real age a secret until just before shooting commenced. This decision allowed her to fully embrace the role and contribute to the show's success. F Troop also had a recurring plot point that left viewers with a question, the military service history of Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke and CPL. Randolph Agard Throughout the series, it's mentioned several times that Sergeant O'Rourke was a veteran of the Mexican War. However, the show never definitively clarified whether O'Rourke or CPL. Agarn fought in the Civil War, leaving fans to speculate about their pasts. In the world of classic television, F Troop remains a cherished gem. Its blend of humor, unexpected casting choices, and intriguing character backgrounds continue to captivate audiences even today. The show's ability to surprise both on and off the screen is a testament to its enduring appeal. In the end, F Troop stands as a prime example of how television can push boundaries and leave a lasting impact, whether through Italian language rehearsals, age-defying auditions, or the mysteries of fictional military service histories. It's a series that remains a beloved part of television history, offering laughter, surprises, and timeless entertainment. In the annals of television history, the 1965 TV series F Troop holds a unique place as a comedic take on the Old West. While the show is celebrated for its humor and memorable characters, it also grappled with controversy and unexpected casting choices. One prominent aspect that has drawn retrospective criticism is the show's portrayal of Native American characters. Some critics have pointed out that F Troop relied on stereotypes and caricatures, which are considered highly controversial by today's standards. The series often featured Native American characters in exaggerated and stereotypical ways, reflecting the racial insensitivity of the era in which it was produced. This aspect of the show raises questions about how humor can evolve and change over time, and serves as a reminder of the evolving cultural landscape and the world of entertainment. Speaking of unexpected turns, the character of Captain Wilton Parmenter, a central figure in the show and played by Ken Berry, was originally intended for actor Bob Steele. However, due to health issues, Steele was unable to take the role, 
leading to Barry's casting. This twist of fate not only altered the course of the series, but also gave Ken Barry a platform to showcase his comedic talents, ultimately becoming one of the show's standout performers. Amidst the humor and controversy, F Troop had its fair share of memorable running gags. One of the most iconic was a recurring joke involving directions given in the show. Characters often found themselves bewildered as they were instructed to turn right when you see the rock shaped like a bear. Turn left when you see the bear shaped like a rock. This humorous play on words added an extra layer of comedic absurdity to the series, leaving audiences in stitches. In conclusion, F Troop remains a beloved classic of 1960s television, but its legacy is not without its complexities. The show's use of stereotypes and the unexpected casting of Ken Berry are just two facets of its history that continue to intrigue and spark discussions among viewers today. And let's not forget the whimsical humor embedded in its very fabric, with directions that could confuse even the most seasoned traveler in the Wild West. Wild West. Wild West. As we bring this journey through the delightful world of the 1965 TV series F Troop to a close, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the special connection you might have forged with this timeless classic. F Troop, with its unique blend of humor, slapstick comedy, and unforgettable characters, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Perhaps you've laughed heartily at the antics of Captain Parmenter, Sergeant O'Rourke, and the bumbling Troop F, finding solace in the sheer absurdity of it all. Maybe you've cherished the clever commentary on the complexities of human nature and the quirks of society that this show offered beneath its humorous facade. Or it's possible that F Troop holds a treasured place in your memories, serving as a source of bonding and nostalgia with loved ones. We'd love to hear your thoughts, your fondest memories, and the reasons why F Troop continues to resonate with you. Share your favorite moments or the characters who made you laugh till your sides hurt. Let's celebrate the enduring charm of this beloved series together. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and your unique connection to F Troop enriches the legacy of this classic show. Stay tuned for more nostalgic adventures, and remember, your stories and sentiments are the true treasures of this journey. With gratitude and warm regards. Warm regards.